Alyssa Ramos is here. Alyssa, nice to talk with you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Welcome to Barcelona. <laughs> yeah, right. Welcome to Barcelona. Direct. We're zooming to Barcelona today from uh, New York. This is fantastic. Now, I want to make sure I get this right. Did you move to Spain? Is that right? Yeah. So uh, the idea was to, you know, do everyone's dream and move from the U.S. to Barcelona, one of everyone's favorite cities in the world. And um, well, that happened. And now we're just kind of stuck inside. <laughs> I have a question about that, by the way, because <clears throat> how did you decide that this is what you're going to do for a living? Um, so as I'm sure you know, you know, we do get it a lot that people are like, this is, you have the dream job. How can I get that job? Well, first of all, it is the dream job, but it's one of the most hardest jobs I've ever had in my entire life. Yeah. Um, and it's something that you create. So you, you're in charge, you're the boss, you're the creator. No one gives you this job. Um, it's all up to you. You have to really love it and really be passionate about it. So basically how I happened to like dream it up and make it happen was uh, I was about 26 and I was living in LA for about, I had been there for four or five years and I was so into the Hollywood scene. I had arrived in LA and like took off running. I got sucked into the, you know, the scene and the red carpet events and the parties and the celebrities and everything like this. And I was, I just started a blog about Hollywood and I was like getting invited to all this stuff. But then after a while I was like, Oh my God, how is it? How am, I feel like I'm not contributing anything to the world or like my life. I'm just doing the same thing every day and it's really ridiculous. Right. Um, so <laughs> suddenly I was like, you know, what? I'm going to, I'm going to do something. You know, I, I'm very big into charity and philanthropy. I always have been. Uh, and I was like, I'm going to go volunteer, but like, maybe I'll do it in another country. So cliche American. I was like, I'm going to go volunteer in Africa. Sure. So uh, I figured out. How to, sorry. As you do, sure. As you do, exactly, exactly. Like I say, cliche American. Yep. <laughs> what did, let me ask you something. What was the most unexpected thing that you have learned since starting this trek? Um, I would say the most unexpected thing I've learned is that people, there's a lot of good people in this world. You know, like I said, like I was in LA for a really long time and in LA I grew some really thick skin because people are always judging you and saying like what you should, should not be doing, accusing you of, you know, what your real like scheme and things are and you know the hierarchy system of being popular things like that and also living in the united states without without having have had the thought of traveling my entire life up until i was 26 i always had the idea that other countries are dangerous you know other people are out to get you people hate americans people think american travel or tourists are like the worst in the world and then i start traveling and i'm like everyone loves me just because i'm american and, you don't think yeah. I'm a celebrity Thank because you. I have a blue passport. Yeah. I proudly walk down the aisle of flights now holding out my passport so people know that I'm American because they're like, oh, she's cool. She's American. Now, I have to say this out loud. First of all, of course, on the surface, if we look at a still picture of you, you're very easy to like on the surface. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna. I, I don't know. <laughs> I can hear the people in my ear like, Eric, please do not go down this road. I'm, I'm doing it. It's my show. I can do whatever I want, Alyssa. How about that? But let's. I mean, let's let's just take this one step at a time because I really want to deconstruct what you just said. So I'm looking at you. I've never met you before. I've certainly watched the things online. You're very good at what you do. Thank you. <laughs> but right after I look at a picture of you, the next thing I look at is is substance, and you mm -hmm. obviously have substance. So again easy for to you for, for people to get along with you because you have substance you're smart you have okay that's all well and good but what you said was even more interesting to me which was i'm an american tourist and you are so right how many especially some of my new york friends and you know these sort of like oh i'm not i don't do you, do you sometimes say you're canadian when you travel i'm like yeah no yeah. i don't say i'm canadian i love canadian yeah. i'm an american i've never yeah not, Granted, I, maybe I'm not dropped into a war zone, but at the same time, every place I've been, mm -hmm. same, same idea. Don't you find, and haven't you found that there are more things that bring us together than divide us? And there's certainly plenty that divide us, but there's more that brings us together. For sure. And one thing, another thing that I've learned that I'm so grateful to have learned is that the travel community and people who travel are so positive and happy and they're so willing to meet other people and like give other people like you know uplifting words whereas people who like don't travel and they see like other countries something like bad or something like this they're just like so judgmental and it's like 
it's night and day. You can tell you, when you're talking to someone who travels and when you're talking to someone who doesn't travel. It's just I like absolutely, <laughs> I, I, I absolutely agree. I absolutely agree. What are some of the places that you're already looking at that you haven't done that you want to do? I mean, the stats of where you've been and how many countries, they're pretty phenomenal. And I applaud you for that. I think that is absolutely amazing. Where do you want to go next? I already have my trip on the burner. I've had it planned and ready to go since January. So right now it's just a matter of waiting to hear um, if and when I can do it. And it's going to be finally going to um, DR Congo, Uganda, and Rwanda to do the gorilla trekking. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping to spend like three months in Africa. Just I just want to stay there for like stay and wander around for a little bit. It's very nice to meet you. Thank you for doing this today. Thanks for having me. Hey guys, this channel is a celebration of all things travel, so hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment or question, share this video, like it, rate it, whatever. Believe me, it all helps. Thanks for watching.